It's a new year, new me, I'm vlogging every day of January But I guess that means it's not a new me Because I'm doing the exact same thing that I did in 2020 Oh god, that can't be good Good morning, everybody. We were looking for hot dogs on Postmates because Corey and I love a hot dog. We found these like crazy, like they're like corn dogs, but they're like really intense. Like they just arrived. They're crazy. Um, so we're gonna try them. The podcast just came out. I'm very excited about it. So I hope you guys all subscribed and watched and listened and all the things. So I'm busy promoting that today and getting work done for that. But first, we gotta eat some hot dogs. So this. Wow. Oh my god. This is what they look like. So we got these hot dogs. I need to look up what they are because I actually don't even know. So we have a lemon berry acai, a lemonade slush. This is horchata slush. So this is the crispy rice. This is the potato. Spicy. This is spicy. Cinnamon sugar. And this is This pasta. one's called two hands. I don't know what these are. I've never heard of any of this stuff before. I'm excited to try them. Okay. There's these really cool looking, delicious looking like cheese versions of these. I've seen Trisha eat them and they look very delicious. So that's what these remind me of. That's what they look like, but they're corn dogs. It's not cheese. Okay, so we have ketchup, mustard. I'm assuming this is like a, I don't know what that is, a ranch. And this looks like maybe a spicy. Yeah, that's spicy. It smells like a churro. <clears throat> okay, here we go. <gasps> oh wait, this one is cheese. This one's not a corn dog. Well, this is really cheese. Good. Oh, but these are the things that Trisha eats. Oh my mm. God. That's mm, incredible. Why is it taste like sushi? <laughs> Wait. Clean. This is incredible. This is so good. I thought this was gonna be bark. This is so this good. Is no. This is incredible. This is amazing. I was not expecting I'm not joking. I was like not it. expecting that. I really thought that I was gonna eat this and be like throwing up because I was not in the mood for this kind of food today. Wait, I thought this was hot dogs. I did too. Now I'm really confused. I literally thought we were eating corn dogs. This is like, this is. We literally searched hot dogs. We were in the mood for hot dogs. It's and then this totally came up good. and I was like, oh, these look good. I thought they were corn dogs. This is literally just mm. cheese in the middle. Well, you have to try this. It's gonna be a shock because that's here. Let's switch. So you have cinnamon sugar, right? Mm -hmm. This, this is, is, is gonna blow your mind. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. spicy. Tell me that isn't everything you want and more. Mm, that's good. Let's go. I like that better. What? Yeah. Colleen. Holy smokes, these are amazing. You what? You're crazy. This is so good. I don't like the spicy. You're wrong. Wait, I like it now. Yeah, see, you just have to get the sugar out your mouth. If you don't think about what you're putting in your mouth, it's really good. It's really good. Wash it down with the lemon berry acai. Well, that tastes like chapstick. That tastes like it should have alcohol in it. That tastes like a bad alcoholic drink from college, like the only thing you would drink. Like one of those, um, you know what I mean? The Smirnoff ice. That's what Ew, that tastes like. Uh, yes. No, I don't like bubbles, carbonation. That's, you're gonna love that. Oh, that's good. It's just lemonade. So good. All right, I'm gonna go for the crispy. I'll, I'll take a bite after okay, you do it. Okay, this is the crispy one. Mm. No, I don't like that. That Clean. tastes like styrofoam. It's rice krispies. No, it's not good. I don't like that one. So the, the balls are just crunchy, but they have like a flavor. It's oh, like yeah. packing, packing mm. popcorn. Oh no. Oh no. Right, like packing popcorn. Like mm -hmm. what? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Those balls, those balls tasted weird. Never. I thought these were corn dogs. I'm so confused. Seoul classic dog. Okay, Seoul is in Korea. Oh, these are Korean. Okay, so these are Korean style corn dogs. So I guess Korean style corn dogs don't have meat in them. It's cheese. I thought those were like you could only get them in Koreatown, and it was like I didn't know they were called Korean corn dogs. I thought they were like deep fried cheese or something. I don't know. Wait, so anybody who knows more than us because we don't know. We're obviously thing. ignorant and stupid. Are these hot? Dogs? No, they're 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 Korean corn dogs. I think it's but they're called dogs. Where's the dog? I don't know. Well, where's the dog in a hot dog? The wiener. Mmm. Oh, this is like French fries. Mmm. It's like breakfast potatoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's bomb. That's That'd be good, good in like the mustard or ketchup. That one's good. That'd be good in ketchup. Mmm. Wait, that's real mm. good. Mm. Okay, and this is the last one. Two hands signature seasoning with sweet ranch sauce. I wonder why they call it two hands. It's like a... Um, mm -hmm. Connery. It's good. Even with the ranch drizzle? It's good. That crunch is outrageous. These are so bomb. 
No. You don't like that one? What's I don't your like favorite? The ranch. I like the spicy one and the potato one the best. Just the cinnamon and sugar one. Just the plain cinnamon. That's sugar. too. It's, but if you want a meal or like a snack, like I don't want that. You know, like it's it's really good dessert. Ooh, I don't like that ranch one. I like the potato one. Potato one and the just that plain cinnamon sugar one. I legit thought we were gonna be eating corn dogs. I was not expecting. It, it says they're hot dogs on a stick, but it's not a hot dog on a stick. I'm yeah, so I'm confused. Co I'm confused too. Is a Korean hot dog just a huge mozzarella stick? If you. If you are Korean and you come to America and you get a corn dog, are you confused when there's meat Being in it? Excited, because if cheese. I went to Korea or here even, obviously, and got a Korean corn dog, I thought there would be meat in it, mm -hmm. and then I was surprised that there was just cheese in them. Who invented the corn dog? Sylvia Sure. Oh, Sylvia. She created it. Okay. Who created the hot dog? Charles Feldman. Charles. German, of course. I should have known that. Although I will say the hot dogs in America are. <laughs> Once you've had any hot dog anywhere else because I feel like hot dogs in Europe oh. and in Germany and like anywhere I've ever been in Europe where I've had a hot dog it has like this like casing it sounds weird oh, around yeah. so it's like crisp when you bite it you yeah. just like bite through like the like shell I don't know how you would explain it yeah then the meat's really like moist and everyone hates I'm explaining this in words that people would hate but it's really really good and if you have a hot dog in America it is not like that but I will say this is a billion times better than a hot dog or a corn dog to me I think it's better I would totally Totally get this spicy one again. What? It looks like they took a bunch of hot Cheetos. And they probably did. It's probably Takis. That's why I don't like. But these two are my favorite. Look at that potato yumminess. I thought potato would be bad, but it's actually they're all real good. So I didn't like the crispy one, but everything else was really good. I'm a fan. Chef's kiss. We'll be ordering again. Ten out of ten. What's it time for? What are we about to do? Okay, this is the one. We're doing number 10. It is. Open it up. What, what is it? I don't know. What is it? Oh. Can you oh. show it to the camera? Ooh. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, wait. This one's for you, I think. Right here. Can you open this one? <gasps> What's that? <gasps> oh. oh, wow. That's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what the craft of the day is. Flynn has had this for a very long time and thinks it's new, so. It's a little Oh! Here is my cute craft of the day. Love it! My parents just showed up for a surprise. What? Oh, something happened. I don't know. I guess it's secret, so I'm gonna go talk secrets with my mother. We're gonna have a dance party in a minute. Flynn! Do you wanna have a dance party? What song should we listen to? Dance party time! Are you ready? Here comes the music. So today has been a fun day with Flynn and, and my parents. Ew, that was so gross. Oh my God, ew. First of all, I just wanna show you the most um, mom of a two-year-old thing I've ever seen. And it is this random mozzarella stick that has one bite taken out of it that is just sitting on my desk. Anyway, I'm just listening to music and man, I love music. Music is just like makes you feel so many things. And ever since I was like singing the, that music the other night, I don't know if that was last night or the night before, I was singing music the other night. And it made me wanna go back and listen to like all my favorite old music that I used to listen to. And I just went on a journey and I wanna take you guys on a journey with me. So if you wanna go on a dumb little journey with me, 
stay tuned and keep watching. But if you don't, good night. I'll see you guys never. See you tomorrow, you know, how the drill goes. Um, but if you wanna go on a little journey with me, music helps me through my emotional moments in life as it does for a lot of people, cause music's amazing. I was just listening to all this music I used to be obsessed with and I was like, oh man, I remember when I felt this way and I listened to this song over and over and over again. So it's gonna take you guys on a little, a little journey of me. So there was a time right before Eric and I fell in love where I was very sad. I listened to a lot of sad songs. <laughs> that I felt like explained kind of how I felt. There's this one amazing songwriter who I'm obsessed with named Deb Talon. I think she's incredible. There are a few songs of hers that I just listened to over and over again. I just thought I was not worthy of any love or affection or attention or anything. I just felt like I was gonna probably be single forever and um, I was just sad and yeah, it's going through a lot. I was gonna sing you a song or two that I would listen to on repeat back in those days. I want your love I want it so bad It's a seed stuck in my throat It's a weed around my hole It makes me choke and I can only breathe outside We're in tall buildings with high ceilings and no is a hardcore open doors <laughs> isn't there someone out there started to get some confidence and started to like be like I'm gonna be okay I'm gonna be alone forever but at least I'll be okay because I have a good life and it's gonna be okay um, and this song just was special to me but then when I had Flynn now the song means something so different to me because when I sing this or hear this song now I think of Flynn so cry why not we all do and turn to the one you love and smile a smile that lights up all the room when you can't remember a better time you can have mine little one in days to come when your heart feels idea. This song's good too. This song was another song that was like helped me like push through times of frustration or sadness or fear or whatever and I feel like some of you might need to hear this song today or every day. It's not now or never. It's not black.
sweet. Then I, you know, started to get tingles in my dingles for uh, Eric and was like, oh, you're amazing. Then I started to listen to happier music and music that never meant anything to me before meant so much and like came alive. So I'm gonna sing a couple of those little ditties and then I'm gonna go to bed. Sometimes you gotta start clean, you gotta begin, begin again. I just think it's the cutest song in the whole freaking world. I think the lyrics are the cutest lyrics ever and perfectly describe how I feel about my husband. And I'm running just as fast as I can to tell you the news. We can do this together, we can get me and you. When you hold me, I can see this is exactly where I wanna be. You're the heart heartbeat baby That's the name of our podcast.